Kai Sinat isn't like most Twitch streamers. His meteoric rise wasn't the random confluence of events most streamers experience on the path to fame and fortune. Well, here we go! No, Kai Sinat made a plan and conquered Twitch. Death me on it! Death me on it! Oh my god! Ah! Ah! Oh my god! Kai the III was born in New York City in 2001 and was raised in the Bronx alongside his twin sister and two brothers. But there was a period, after his parents split up, when Kai spent some time living in a shelter in Georgia before returning to NYC. When I was in the Bronx is when things started to like, you know, feel normal. You know, I started to feel like a normal, like things started to feel normal and go a little, a little, easier than, than usual. In middle school, when he was about 13 years old, Kai began uploading short comedic skits to Facebook before eventually branching out to Instagram. Very, very disruptive in class. He doesn't do any what? work. He fools around with his friends. No, no, he no, doesn't no. do any homework. Nobody can't say nothing. These fun's gonna be mad clean, you feel me? Gotta get under there. Gotta get under there. I think no funny shit. I haven't, I haven't shaved in a while. Let me shave real quick. Y'all think I'm lying? Look, 100. It's going to 59. What happened to the 90s, the 80s, the 70s? If I up, I'll be like, oh, I only have it for 100. I tried 200. Trust me. I tried 200. Shit, but 159. Now this shit is fing broken. But short videos couldn't contain Kai's massive personality. His fans wanted more. So on January 13th, 2018, Kai uploaded his first videos to YouTube. Kai, where's the YouTube channel? Why don't you have a YouTube channel? You need to start getting paid for what you're doing. Kai, where's the YouTube channel? I got one thing to say. Welcome to my YouTube channel! Oh, oh, He needs some milk! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Wait, he's inside! I'm a- Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Kai spent the next few years making more and more of these videos. And as his side gig became a bigger and bigger part of his life, Kai made the difficult decision to drop out of college and commit to content creation full time. Most of y'all might be like, no Kai, what is wrong with you? Why are you dropping out for? The college videos is freaking bangers, man. The college videos is what made this channel. I'm not even gonna lie, the college video is what made this channel. But let me tell y'all something, man. When you know that something is holding you back, from getting to the next level. It's like you just have to sacrifice that. Now don't get me wrong, I'm going to miss college daily. For real, I'm going to miss college daily. But I just figured, I just came to a realization that it was actually holding me back in the long run. It was around that time that Kai joined forces with a YouTube collective called Any Means Possible, or AMP for short. And even though Kai wasn't one of the founding members, the others immediately saw something special in their newest edition. Everybody was telling everybody like, somebody go jump in the pool. And everybody was like, nah. But he did it, like he did it. He went and jumped in the pool, like no hesitation. He was like, I do it, boom, did it. And I was like, nah, like that was tough because it really showed me that he ain't had no fears, bro. Kai already knew that he was on the path to fame. He wasn't scared of putting himself out there. Instead, he knew that being the biggest personality in the room was how he could make sure his fan base grew. All right, in today's video, we will be escaping Prison! Welcome to Fear Factor, where six contestants battle it out over a span of eight intense challenges. These stunts challenge the contestants both physically and mentally. 
<laughs> I hit the- I'm literally about to shit myself, bro! As more and more people discovered Kai, either through AMP or via his own YouTube channel, he began the next phase of his plan. He started streaming on Twitch. I'm starting to stream on Twitch! Tonight is the night that I will be streaming on Twitch. So make sure you guys are ready. Twitch is the place most people go to try to become famous on the internet these days. But Kai wasn't like most people. He wasn't starting from scratch. His loyal fan base followed him from YouTube to Twitch, and his first stream was a resounding success that earned him 1.5k followers. And while that was a good start, over the next few months, Kai blew it out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> but conquering streaming's biggest platform wasn't going to be easy. Twitch is loaded with people who, on the surface, seemed to make the same content Kai did. High energy streams, reaction content, playing games, it's all pretty standard on Twitch. But Kai Sinat was a man with a plan. Just the way he attacks things, like he's very clever and smart like behind the scenes. What's gonna separate you from everybody else? is will you keep going or will you just stop? Most streamers ride trends, find a comfortable groove, and keep doing what made them popular in the first place. But Kai wanted to go bigger. He ventured into 24-hour subathons, hosting celebrities on his streams, and producing increasingly elaborate versions of pranks that made him famous in the first place. tonight! Get up on the cocky girl, come tonight! You know what I'm going up on the cocky girl? You know, you, you know I feel it? <laughs> no baby, no mom. You see how I'm coming? Oh yeah. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! Don't play with that one here, not one at all! Uh, oh, 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 see? How you feel about that? Yeah, great. Oh, you like that? Okay. Oh! oh. Bro, I'm so sorry. By putting more and more effort into these planned events, Kai's stream stood out from the pack. Kai collaborated with other streamers, each one helping propel him further and further towards his goal. And while the content got more elaborate, he never really stopped being the same guy he was back when he made those Facebook videos all those years ago. All right, he got us, he got us, bro. He got, he got us, bro. Let me down, let me down, he got us. He got us, bro. Kai was grinding, streaming, and making content every day, always with one goal in mind. His thing, he always told me, he was like, man, I don't even care about the money, bro. He says he cares about milestones. And in October of 2022, Kai hit that goal. He became the number one most sub two streamer on Twitch, cementing him as the most popular personality on the platform. But this is where Kai's story gets a little complicated. You see, Twitch has always been slow to acknowledge his accomplishments, a fact that wasn't lost on other big streamers. Kai was undeniably huge and was also named Streamer of the Year at the 2022 Streamy Awards. My supporters, I love y'all to death. Streamer of the Year is crazy, man. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. <laughs> and yet there was still something about Kai that kept him on the fringes. Being famous comes with haters, of course, but Twitch wasn't offering him big streaming contracts. His fame only seemed to matter to his fans. And so Kai set a new goal. He was already the biggest, but what if he could get even bigger? On February 1st, 2023, Kai began a non-stop 30-day subathon. Dream 30 days for your life. Bro, okay, that's cool, but bro, come on, the next 30 days? But sir, it is your subathon. Oh, it is my subathon. Yes. It's your supper time, sir. Now, Kai wasn't the first streamer to embark on a quest of broadcasting his life 24-7 for a month straight. Ludwig's 31-day subathon back in 2021 made him the most sub to Twitch streamer by the end of it. We're about there, boys. There it is! You were here. This is the new record on Twitch for most subscribers all time. 
Holy shit, that was insane. But the difference is that, once again, Kai came in with a plan. Ludwig's stream was an uncapped sub bonanza that ended up going far longer than he initially intended. Kai, on the other hand, knew how long he was gonna be live for and what content he would be making each day. The only thing he didn't know was how huge it would get. <laughs> I have 30 seconds left. I'm crazy, I'm crazy, I'm a psychopath. No arms don't count. What? Oh, what is that? What is it? What is it? What, is it? what, is it? what kind of one are you gonna get? Oh, I just want like I just want science to like spin the block. Like, get out of here. Get out of here. What you say? Mm. Get out of here. Like I just want them to boom. PVP. Boom. PVP. Yeah, PVP. Okay. So anybody trying to mess with me? Guard him, Leviosa. You're finished. And then they're gonna they're gonna lift up. Yeah, yeah. Lift up and then fly away. Like like keep going, going. Listen, dude, I'm a Kai fan, dude. The question is, is will Kai not beat my record, but beat Ludwig's? Oh my god! Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, bro. With the help and support of his friends, family, and colleagues, as well as his loyal fan base, Kai Sinat passed the 300,000 subscriber mark and officially broke Ludwig's record. Kai also became the first black streamer to be crowned the king of Twitch. I think my favorite part of the summertime was like, just the experience, bro. Just seeing all the, all the ups and downs of it, all like the, the momentum of it, all like, seeing the chat like going to its lowest and then coming back up to its highest um, and actually being able to say my favorite part of the summertime probably be actually say that I completed it and I was able to do it and you know just making just making history in black during black history month was crazy to me anyone who was still somehow under the impression that Kai was just a flash in a pan was proven wrong once and for all turns out he had riz enough to charm all of us and he did it all in his own unique way can you still stop yelling bro bro he just hit the sub record of course he's gonna be yelling bro he got 300,000 subs if you're getting 350 for that's a million dollars you telling me you wouldn't be yelling if you just got a million dollars i'd be yelling that'd be great let's go kai kc3 man hey man make sure y'all go over to uh kai and everything man uh congratulate him nonstop, stop bro and the subathon was only the beginning kai won another streamer of the year award shortly after his month-long broadcast ended and the winner of best streamer of the whole entire year is Kai Sinat. I just want to say that I'm more ready to work than ever. You feel what I'm saying? I appreciate everybody who supported me in any little, big, any type of way, any type of way. I just want to say um, I love everybody. You feel me? Hope you guys are having a great night and uh, I'll see y'all soon. Yes, sir. And yet, despite being literally the biggest streamer the platform had ever seen, which still didn't really recognize his success. We are so proud of you. Laura, Anna, and all of your friends at Twitch. Kai was understandably pretty confused when Twitch sent him sneakers after his explosive subathon. Many, Kai included, expected to see an exclusive streaming contract, a reward for the attention he brought to the platform. Instead, he got nothing. They probably thought they were really cool. Like the the sentiment behind it, uh, obviously very tone deaf. Yeah. Uh, considering all the conversation about Kai deserves like a bigger contract, they need to, you know, he's already the king of Twitch. They need to, uh, you know, pay him like the king. Yeah. The heavy light lays the crown. You know what I mean? Yeah. At just 21 years old, Kai Sanat didn't just reach the very top of the streaming world, he redefined what the very top was. His incredible rise opened doors for an entirely new generation of content creator. But make no mistake, none of Kai's success was accidental. He worked his ass off planned every step, and was willing to make some difficult personal decisions to get to where he wanted to be. And despite the lack of recognition, he still got to the top. No one can take away his accomplishments. And whatever comes next, it'll all be part of the plan. We did it. We made history. Thanks for watching. 
If you want more content like this, hit the sub button and ring the notification bell. For unique bite-sized videos you won't find anywhere else, hit us up on our Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok.